So as you can see here, my device is completely bricked. Upgrade download failed. This caused by download interruption. Recommend you download tool and try again. So what happened was I was trying to download the stock firmware on here and it um, failed and I had to unplug it and gave me a little fright, a little scare for a little while. I thought I completely wrecked the device like it didn't have EDL, fast boot or um, anything of that sort. But anyways, I have something and if I hold all three buttons down I should be able to get into fast boot so now I'm into fast boot and this is where ultimate you want to get ultimately you want to get because you just press up and then it should say power off and then you press power off button now to get into EDL all yeah all you have to do is press the up and the down button together now plug it in to your PC all right I heard my device go. We're gonna look into device manager here. And then you should find Qualcomm um, QD loader underneath ports, COM and LPT. Now, for some reason, it's not wanting to stay in there, but what you're gonna see is a an error. Now, hold up just a minute. These videos take a lot of time and effort to make, so I really appreciate it you hit that subscribe button. And if you're on the Brave browser, don't forget to go up to the Brave Rewards icon and send me a tip. Now the best way to fix that error is you have to disable driver signatures. And to do that, you press the Windows Start button, press and hold your Shift button, press Power, and then restart as you're holding it. Now you can let it go, press Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, Restart. Press 7. All you did there was disable the driver signature. So a driver without a signature will now be able to run on Windows 10 without any other modifications. Once we disable driver signatures from Windows 10, we're back on our desktop here. And what we want to do is get our device powered down keep it unplugged and we're going to go onto our desktop into the files that we just downloaded and then we're going to go we see two two other folders here Qualcomm drivers and the KB or in the keybab this is your download software for the device this is how you unbrick your device we're going to double click MSM download tool don't click Windows 7 unless you're on Windows 7 Press next, we're going to target O2 and press start. Now with our device powered off and our signatures, our driver signatures disabled on Windows 10, we're going to hold down and up volume buttons and plug in the USB. As you can see, it's connected. The timer is counting up and it's already working. All right, once it says download complete, all I have to do is press the stop button and the yes button, or all you have to do is press the stop button and you can X out of the program, press yes, and then you should see your device boot up. And once it's done booting, you should get back into the original setup page. And now you guys have a clean, unbricked, brand new device. Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to check out my other two videos on, on how to unlock any bootloader on any Android phone ever made. And also how to root the device. Hope you guys have a good one. This is RC Films signing off.